In this tutorial series we'll be making a low poly tank. In this particular video we're looking at reference images and pre-production. This is a beginner's series and it's a continuation of the low poly car. So a few more techniques to help you develop your blender skills. And there's a link to that playlist in the description. So the very first stage is to get inspiration from other artists and real life. So in this case I've looked at real tanks and cartoon tanks. The way I like to collect this information is on mood boards. I find Pinterest a really useful site. I'll give you a link in the description. It's a great way of collecting and organizing mood boards and you can grab images from the internet and put them onto these boards. And you can see from my Pinterest here that I've got several mood boards of lots of different projects that I do. All the details about tanks I put in low poly vehicles. So this has a range of vehicles. It's a good idea not just to focus on the subject that you're thinking of, but look around that subject as well. So other low poly vehicles, how do they approach those and what techniques do they use? So this car, for instance, is a clever, funny design and I could incorporate that into my tank. I like this truck as well, the way they've done some tiny wheels with big, huge windows. So we've got to think how we're going to stylize our tank like that. Then look at what other people have done. So they've done some tanks here. Uh, this one's quite a nice one. Simple, low poly, looks good. This is quite a nice VW turned into an armored vehicle. This one's probably fairly similar to what I've gone for. This one's a nice style, very simplistic, more to do with textures, the way they've done their style. This one and this one are very detailed styles. So start with your mood boards, get some ideas, and then sketch some background images. So here's my very basic sketch. It doesn't have to be complicated, and it gives me a rough idea of the style I want. It's a good idea to do several sketches and try and aim for something like 10 sketches, really quick, really rough, and then pick one and then focus on that as your background image. So the next stage is to get this as a background into Blender, then we can trace around it. So in Blender, I press N to get this tool panel, scroll down to background images, tick on that, press the disclosure arrow and press add image. I open my background image. If you need to see the actual images, you can click on this icon here, but I know mine's just here. Now my tank has two views, a side view and a front view. So I'll use my front view first and I'll be able to see it from the front. So let's go to front view now, one and press five. So that's orthographic mode and I'm in front view with one and five on my numpad. Then I should be able to see my image if all is working. You can then go down to this section here and move the image into place. So that's fine for front view. Now I'm gonna add another image which is actually the same image, but this one will only be seen in the side view. So tank sketch, and it's only gonna be seen from the right hand side. So if I go to side view by pressing three, you'll see my image again. And this time I'll move it across for side view. So front view with one has that, and side view has that. Now we're all set up and ready to go for making our model. The last thing I'm going to do is for the main body of the tank, I'm gonna set up a mirror. So I'm gonna go into edit mode with tab, cut down the middle of this box with control R for a loop cut. You can see this purple line appears. And if you use your wheel, that will give you more cuts, but I only want one. If I left click and then I can move it, but I don't want to move it anywhere. I want it right in the middle. In order to do that, you right click and it will go right in the middle. At this point, I want to select the faces on this side and delete them. So if I press this button here, I can see the faces in the background. Go to face mode, control tab, face, box select these. So A to deselect all, B to box select, box select those and press delete faces. Now I've only got half. If I come up to my modifiers now, add modifier, mirror, I have a mirror. I'm mirroring in the X axis. I can also turn clipping on, which means they won't be able to separate, they will stick together. If you're confused about the mirror modifier, there'll be a card in the top right hand corner. Okay, in the next section we'll be making the main shape. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos and press the alert to get alerts when a new video comes out.